Hi guys, I'm back to show you how you could multicast values using one publisher. And what we have right now is a view controller where we have four text fields. In the first example that I am going to show you, we will be filling the first two text fields with values using a couple of subscribers. In my example, I'm using the value publisher so that I will be able to publish values after every second and I have used several publishers the first one is the timer publisher we are going to use this so that we could emit values or uh, send out new timestamp for every interval that we set so in this case I have set an interval of one second I also use the sequence publisher the sequence publisher is a publisher for um, arrays uh, or any type of collections so here we will be able to emit all the values in this array and then I also use the zip publisher the zip publisher is uh, a way for you to combine two values and then emit a tuple so this type of publisher will emit a tuple based on the input publishers that you have provided and in this example, our input are the sequence publisher and then the timer publisher. So let's start with the example. The first thing I would do is I'm going to create a zip publisher variable. And I'm going to use the publisher return by the value publisher method. And what I wanted to do next is... I would want to be able to print the values that are coming from the zip publisher. To be able to print that, I'm going to use the sync subscription. So I've, I've chosen the first option and then I'm going to call the value coming, coming in and or the output value as tuple. And I'm going to use the print method to print the value. For every subscription that you're going to make, it will return another object, which is a cancelable. So I'm going to store it in a cancelable set, which I prepared earlier. This is our cancelable set. If you are not going to reference the return cancelable, the subscription will not work. And then I'm going to make sure that simple multicast is called. And let's see what we have. So this example will print the values in the debugger. And right now we have the integer and date objects uh, being printed in the debugger as a tuple. Since we intend to print the values in the two text views so text views they receive text which are string so now uh, what we need to do is convert uh, the integer value into a string before I'm gonna do that before I'll do that I just need to call the print method we we can use the print method so that we could print the events that are happening when there is a subscription and whenever values are being received and then the values are um, being printed. So I'm going to run this so we would see the result. You could also use uh, the print method, um, you know, for debugging and then for displaying what values are coming in and that are coming out of your publisher. So right now we can see that it says that it received one subscription since we only want, have one subscriber. So that's the same thing that we have here. And then the request is unlimited. 
and we also have the input value and then the output so we haven't done any transformation of the value so what I would want to do next is transform the tuple into a string where we would extract the integer value instead of the date object so we will be using the map operator and I'm going to choose the second option which says transform and I'm going to hit enter again I'm going to call this tuple again since it's returning a tuple and for the T it's uh, it means the it's a placeholder for the return type and we need a string so I'm going to type string and in the block we will type the keyword return and indicate that we are returning a string so tuple is a tuple so we need to grab the integer and then convert it into a string using a string interpolation so I'm going to access the tuple and tuples the elements in, in, in tuples are positioned by their index so you can access the first item with number zero so I'm just going to type dot and then as you can see there are a couple of items in the tuple and I want to use the first one which is zero and then this would be returning the integer that are or integers that are being printed here okay so the next thing that I would want to do is create another subscriber or publisher out of this by calling the erase to any publisher so since we are returning a string this new publisher will be returning or um, emitting strings and we need to set it to another variable all right so now I'm going to assign the emitted values of the publisher to our text views so I'm going to use the publisher instance and then I'm going to use the assign subscription and I'm going to choose the second one and I'm going to bind it to the text property of the text view like I said earlier if you are going to subscribe to a publisher it will definitely return a cancelable object which you need to um, store in the cancelables property that I have I'm going to copy this since we also need to do the same subscription for the second text view and I'm just going to run this so right now we have a couple of subscription here and in the debugger we're also seeing a couple of subscriptions and we are also seeing the receive values and then as soon as the last value was submitted we receive a finished uh, signal and then in our text view we have seen that the last value was printed how about if I wanted to see all the values from the very start and to the last value how would I do that so I can achieve that by transforming the the emitted value or be, be before emitting the value I'm going to transform it into a string that is vertically stacked so I'm going to use the map operator again and then here I'm going to use a shorter vers version of the map operator so I'm just going to use uh, curly braces okay 
and then to grab the tuple like this I'm, uh, we're, we're going to use a index base positioning so if we have a couple of uh, parameters or values that we we expect you choose which one you would use by its index since we only have one so it's zero so you would use zero dot if it's a tuple then zero dot something but since our publisher is just returning a string, then um, we'll just do it like this. And then we would need to grab the text from the previews, which is stored in our text view. So I'm just going to cut this first. We'll need to create a string since our text, our text views are expecting a string. So I'm just going to grab the text of the first text view text and then the first time um, or the first time that the text view will load it will be empty or null so we make sure that we set some value I'm going to use the coalescing operator so if it's nil then I'm going to return an empty string and then in order for the next value to be positioned at the bottom, then we would be use the new line character. And we will append the, the new value. So we have the old value and then the new value. And then uh, we have a new line character here. I'm going to copy this so that the same thing will happen for the second text view. Okay, so I think we're almost done. Let me just run this. Okay, so now it's printing vertically in our text view. All right, so I've shown you how you could multicast a value from one subscriber by creating several subscriptions. I also have shown you how you could use the map operator to transform a value to a different type. And then I also have shown you how you could use the erase to any publisher to return a new publisher. And in the next uh, videos, I'm also going to show you how you could use the multicast uh, publisher and also use the share method to produce a multicast publisher.